Yeah. Um, teacher, may I? Cynthia, I was guided. Let us humble ourselves for a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for today. We thank you for keeping us alive up to this time. Thank you for giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father, I want to ask you to bless us throughout this lesson. May, may we understand everything that teacher is going to teach, and may we have no network disturbances. In Jesus' mighty name, I believed and prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you so. Thank you so much. Was that Cynthia? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, we want to pick it from where we stopped last week on Wednesday. Last week on Wednesday I was the one taking you through. So I want us to pick it exactly from where we stopped. You remember we are looking at perpendicular lines. Uh, can I get one person to tell us one? two things about perpendicular lines just to remind us and then we we, we continue okay teacher Martha, you are there in charge yeah? so okay Mr. let's hear from dove um we studied about uh, what we studied about perpendicular lines um can we pick perpendicular those that perpendicular lines, when the product of the gradients of the two lines is negative one, the lines are perpendicular. And if the products of the gradients of the two lines are not negative, is not negative one, then the lines aren't perpendicular. Okay, that's very good. Okay, second line. We say that the gradient of the first line, we can call it m1 because m is gradient in the equation y is equal to mx plus c so m1 is the gradient of the first line and looking for m2 you just say that m1 times m2 is equal to negative one okay so we did that that was the first the first situation we went to the second situation um, on Wednesday still last week, where we looked at where we are given two equations and we are told to state whether those, those lines are perpendicular. So what we are doing was to get the gradient of the first line and then the gradient of the second line. When you multiply the gradient of the first one by the gradient of the second one and you get negative one, you conclude that those lines are perpendicular. If you multiply the gradient of the first one by the gradient of the second one, and you don't get negative one, you conclude that those lines are not perpendicular. That's where we stopped. I want us to pick it exactly from there. Um, the third situation that we are going to look at now is when you are given the equation of one, and they want you to get the equation of the second line that is perpendicular to this first one and going through a certain point. So that's where I want us to pick it from. So under perpendicular lines, the subheading will be more examples because we are still on perpendicular line. So more examples. More examples. Okay, more examples. So I say, okay, I will say that this is one because I have said more. And the, the question is here. Find the equation of the line. Find, you write the question very fast. Find the equation. Find the equation of a line, find the equation of a line perpendicular, perpendicular. Okay, find the equation of the line perpendicular 
perpendicular to another line, perpendicular to another line, whose equation, whose equation is two y plus three x is equal to one and passes and passes through and passes through the point and passes through the point negative three one okay that is the question i hope everyone can see it find the equation of a line perpendicular to another line whose equation is this one and it passes through the point negative three one okay i hope people are writing it very fast okay So um, I can use Dove to tell me whether she's done. She's representing all of you. Dana, Dove, are you done with writing everything there? Yes, teacher. Okay, I can ask another person. Okay, I hope everyone is done. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's very good. Yes, so teacher. Not done. You are not done. Okay, I add you two seconds eh, to finish. Okay. Yes, I hope we are done now. Can I can I get one person to move with? Can I get one person to move to move with teacher Martha? Teacher Martha, are you seeing anyone there? Hey, teacher Martha is also not on. Okay. Um let me check the hands here. Okay, um, Angel, Angel, can you move? Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is there to move with me? Let's your come. name is that um, angel Tongo. okay yes. shall i tell you what what i think we are doing okay let me first explain this eh? we are given the equation of one line and this this equation is 2y plus 3x is equal to 1 we are told that this line is perpendicular to this one that is passing through which point the point is negative three, one. Now we are told to find the equation of the second one. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to another line whose equation is this one. So we are getting, we are looking for the equation of this one that is perpendicular to this one and passes through this point negative negative three one. So which steps are we going to, to go through, Angel? Angel. Angel, are you there? 
Mr. Matumbe, let's have Rihanna because her hand is up. Okay, yes. Teacher, I think okay. we should find the gradient of that other line. We get the gradient of, of which line? The one with negative three, one. The one with this one. How do we get the gradient of this line now? Um, use the formula. <clears throat> Yes, can you please be, be loud? We use the formula. We get the get we find the gradient of that one with two two y plus three x equals one. And mm -hmm. then we we multiply it by let's say m two and mm -hmm. then we say equals negative one. Okay, that's that's very good. Let's first get the gradient of this line and that will be our m1 eh? so how do we get the gradient of this line we are given the equation of the line eh? so we are going to say that from from 2y plus 3x is equal to 1 coefficient by making the coefficient of one by dividing we are arranging it in the way that y is equal to mx plus aha uh -huh. we put we put that equation in the form y is equal to mx plus you see that's very good in other words we make y the subject of this equation eh? we leave only y on the left hand side all the other terms should be taken to the right hand side. So we start. This will be 2y, which is equal to this one going to the other side. What do I do? Make it a negative. It becomes a I get negative 3 x, then plus 1. What do I do next? You divide. Okay, to the one. What is this is being okay to everyone? What is M1 from this one? Negative three out of two. Negative, Negative three, out. three out of two. That's very good. We, ha we have the gradient of this first line. How do I get the gradient of? I, I do what? Let's find the gradient. I have the gradient of this first line, and we are going to get one. We are going to get one. Can I get one person? Can I get okay, one girls, person? Can you go? get one person to talk? You can mm -hmm. raise can your I hand. Can I get one person and go? Yes, and talk. Teacher, I will choose. Teacher, I think you replace that one. one. Who is that one? Okay, okay, Angel, what are you saying? Teacher, I think you you replace the y and x mm. with, with the points that they've given in the question, the negative three, one, and then you find the gradient of that line. Mm. Are you sure? I just think I don't. Okay. We are, we are saying last last week on Wednesday we said that when we have the, the gradient of one, we can get the gradient of the second line if the lines are perpendicular. And that's what I want us to do. We have got the gradient of this first line as negative three out of two. How do we get the gradient of the second line, which is going to be M2? Okay, so shall you use, use the, the M1 times M2 is equal to negative one? Okay, you use the condition for perpendicular lines, and that condition is M1 times M2 is equal to negative one. So M1 is negative three out of two. Mm -hmm. Can we continue? So then you multiply mm -hmm. each term by two. I multiply uh, both sides by two. 
to have negative to have two times negative three out of two a with two, which is equal to negative one times two. That's very good. This two will go with that two. So I now have negative three m two. Mm -hmm. What do I do next? You divide, you divide all that, you divide negative by negative three on both sides. I divide both sides by negative? Negative three. I divide by negative three, that's very good. So it's negative three L of two, which is equal to negative two. I say by negative three, by negative three. This one will go with that. I'll have N2 as equal to? Mm -hmm. Two out of three. Two out of three. That's very good. Now, that is the gradient of the second line. Eh? That's the gradient of this line. You remember where we started it from. When you have the gradient and a point on that line, you can get the equation of the what? You can get the equation of the line. Now that I have the gradient of this second line and a point on the line, I know everyone can now get the equation of that second line. Mm -hmm. I can see Paul's hand up. Uh, yes, sir. I was kindly requesting. Please make me upload these notes to Google Classroom. I haven't been around for the previous lessons. So I need I I'm I'm having like trouble catching on. So can you please upload them to Google Classroom? Okay, one you can go to you can go and get all the recordings. That one I'm I'm sure they are there. So you can get the recordings of the lessons. That will help you, Paula. Okay, thank you. So. They are there. At least me, I have um the one of the lesson mm -hmm. I taught last week. Sure, they are not there. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, Mr. Yes. Bado will answer yes. that because me, me, I downloaded the one, the one I taught last week on, on Wednesday. Okay. Yes. So Mr. Bato will answer that Hi. one at the end of the, when the lesson is ending. Eh? But at least me, I, I get them. Okay. So, people, we have got the gradient of the second line. Given the gradient and a point on the line, everyone at this point at least can get the equation of the line, given the gradient and the point on the line. Can I get another person to move with? Teacher, may that I? Part? Okay, that is Marcy. No, teacher, it's Dav. Yeah, I saw Marcy's hand is here. Oh, okay. So that's just up a hand. Uh -uh. Thank you. Yes. Mr. Martin, may I talk about Yes, um, mm -hmm. Teacher, to find the equation, we say y is equal to mx plus c. Okay. I can clean now. I can clean the question here and I use this part. So, after here, we come to this part. Okay. And we are saying that we are using M as two out of three. Okay. We are using the only point we have, which is negative three, one. And the Y is equal to MX plus C. Mm -hmm. Yes, Master, we are moving. Um, our y is one, so it's a so one is equal to this one. So yes. y is one is equal to two out of three mm. times negative three mm -hmm. plus c. Mm -hmm. One is equals to mm. two out of three. Yes. We can reduce. And that two. makes it negative two. Mm -hmm. Plus mm. C. 
So I make see the subject and it's crossing my mind. Uh, equal sign, so it becomes a negative. It's negative C. So our equation is, my question is y is equals to two out of three x. Weight the required equation. A. step by step what we did step by step was to get the gradient of this line and you know how, how we get the gradient of this one given the equation of the line we wrote we rearranged this one to put it in the form y is equal to mx plus c and this is what we did it is it is now in the form y is equal to m x plus c. This is giving us the gradient of this line, which we got as negative three out of two. I hope everyone is comfortable with that first part. Now, the second part is to use the condition for perpendicular lines and say that, yes, we are told that these lines are perpendicular. So M1 times M2, is equal to negative one. That's the, that's, that's the condition for perpendicular lines. And we know, we all know that. So I, we use it here to get the gradient of the second, of the second, of the second line. After getting the gradient of the second line, now we have a point and the gradient of the line. We can get the equation of that line. And that's where we started from, by the way when we are starting this topic. So given the gradient and the point on the line, we use this to get the equation of this line, which is now this, okay? This is, we put M1 here, as M2 as 2 out of 3. Now, after getting M2, I say the gradient is M, which is this one. The point, the only point we have on the line is this one, which I have put here. I use Y is equal to MX plus C to get the equation of this one, which is this. Septa, is it okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Is there any other any other question? There is Betty. There is Betty. Yes, Betty. Um, teacher, I was just asking, why didn't we stop at M two? Why did we have to go ahead and get the equation? Okay. Now we are told to find the equation, the equation of the second line that is perpendicular to the first line, and it's going through one, a given point. So we had to look for the equation of the line. Not, we, are not, we are not told to find the gradient of the second line. So we can't stop at the gradient. We are told to find the equation of that second line. The question says to find the gradient. Ah, you read the question if you wrote it. Maybe Can you please read the question? Yes? Betty, have you come a little late? Uh, maybe I read the wrong question, but I, maybe I missed something. Read me the question you have, because I put it on the body here. 
find the gradient of a line perpendicular to another line whose equation is 2y plus 3x is equal to Danyabo. one. Danyabo, the question was, who can read the question for us? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Please read. Find the equation of a line perpendicular to another line whose equation is 2y plus 3x is equals to 1 and passes through the point negative 3, 1. Okay, that's very good. So, Betty, that is the question. I don't know where I got <laughs> that one that you are reading from, but that's the question I put on the board. We are told to find the equation of that second line, not just the gradient. So after getting its gradient, yeah, what's left will be very simple. Go ahead and define the equation of the line. I hope that's okay, okay Betty. Yeah, it's fine, I just wrote the wrong question. Okay, another question if it is there. There is Paula. Mm. Uh, so my question was, is that the final answer? Is, is it what? Is that your final answer? I beg your pardon, I can't hear you very well. Is that your final answer? Yes, the final answer is y is equal to two out of three x plus plus three. Yes, sir. And one more question. Sorry? Mm. Um, how can you confirm that that's the correct answer? How how do you confirm? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> First, the gradient, this one times this you get negative one of course no one will tell you to confirm that that is the final answer but the gradient here times the gradient of this first line you will get negative one that's one condition and this point when you substitute it in this line you get um this side will equal to this side so this point is satisfying this equation the point is satisfying, that's one. Then the other thing is that the gradient here times the gradient of the first one will give you negative one. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Is there any other hand? Mr. Matumbo, how simple? Mm-hmm. Um, teacher, can others, they... I hope, you, I hope you are writing. Others, you are writing, okay? Mm. Can they ask us a question like to find the equation, but then they do not give us the points? And they don't give you the points? Yeah. No. Because they are, you won't be able to find the equation. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. Okay. So, everyone is satisfied with teacher matter, we can move. My Hope teacher. Yes. Now, please learn to raise your hand if you want to say something. Mm -hmm. Dove, go on. Dove, you are saying? I'm sorry. Um, I had a terrible network. I didn't see why we put at C. Why C is net is three. Why is C from here? Yes, I didn't see that. Okay, now here she took the C to this side to become negative and one to this side to also become negative. We know very well that when a number, when a term moves from one side of the equation to the other, the sign before that term changes. So the C became negative and one also became what? Negative. So we got negative C as equal to three divide the two sides by negative one to have C as three. Another person, by the way, you know, in math, you know, in math, in math, um, it's not that we have the same way to go. Another person from here can take this negative two to this side to become positive and leave C on the right hand side. So one plus two will give you, will give you three. So three is equal to C. And when you interact, when you change the, um, when you take C to this side and then you to this side, you will still get to C as equal to, to, to three. Okay, so thank is you, that teacher. okay? 
Mm. So whichever way, she decided to take C to this side to become negative, and then want to decide to become negative, and later, later divide the two sides by negative one. So you can choose to take this one to this side, and then C remains on the right hand side. But later, when you are concluding, you have to start with the unknown. So C would equal to three, and then you write the equation of um, the equation of the line. Okay. Mr. Matumbe, Nasuna's hand is up. Yes, Nasuna. Teacher, if I take the C and the negative two on the other side, I mean the and I bring the one this side, is it still fine? If you take every two here to this side and then one to this side, we are collecting life terms. Now, our intention here is to have these known, these knowns together. Now, when you take this to this side and this one to this side, still you'll have to move this C2 to this side. So the intention here is to collect like terms. We are putting the knowns together such that we can get the value of C. Is that okay, Nasona? Yes, teacher. Okay. So allow me to put the second example, the second question. There's someone here is saying, okay, teacher. So we can get the, we can put the second question. Okay, the second question is here. We are told this is example two. I hope people can see here. That's very good. Find the find find the equation. Find the equation of the line. Find the equation of the line. Perpendicular, perpendicular, perpendicular to two a plus three y is equal to four. <coughs> Find the equation of the line perpendicular to this one. Uh, I believe that this one that it passes that it passes through that it passes through the point that it passes through the point is zero is three. Okay, so copy that question very well. Copy the question very well. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to this one that passes through this one, that point. I give you one more minute to one more minute to 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 complete that one. Mm -hmm. As I state a little here and the answer, as I state for you, is so. Mm -hmm. So this point is zero, three, and then the equation of this one is two x plus 3y, this is equal to 4. Okay, 
we have to get the M1 and then M2. By the way, this equation is to help us get M1. After getting M1, M1 will help us get M2. And after getting M2, everything is almost done. You use the gradient here that you have got and this point to get the equation of that line. Teacher Martha, are you seeing any hand there? Let's hear from Johanna. Okay. Yes. Um, so you first use y is equal to mx plus c. Uh -huh. So you have Johanna, Mr. Sam is here. You are going to move with her. So Johanna, you are answering the question. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's move together. So you have three y is equal to negative two x. Three y is equal to negative two x. Yes. Plus four. Plus four. And then you have three y out of three, and you'll divide all of them by three. So, so three y. Okay, now by three. And you have y is equal to. Is equal to negative two out of three x. Yes. Plus four out of three. Four out of three. Yes. Next. It means our M one is negative two out of three. So M one is equal to negative two out of three. Good. And then you have M1 times M2 is equal to negative one. M1 times M2 is equal to negative one. So and M1, negative, uh -huh. yeah, M1 is negative two out of three. Yes. And M2 and is M2 equal to negative, negative one. one. Yes. Um, for me, I multiplied all sides by the reciprocal mm -hmm. and I got M2 is equal to, is equal is to neg negative one times three out of negative two. Times three out of negative, negative two. two. So what is M2? M2 is three out of two. Three and two. So that is M2. After getting M2, what's this? Using M is equal to three out of two. We are going to use M is equal to three equal out of two. Three out of two, yes. Um, zero three point zero three and when Y is equal to zero three. Mm -hmm. And y is equal to mx plus c. So our equation is y is equal to m x plus c. What and next? Three is equal to uh, y is three, so three is equal to zero. I mean three out of two times zero. Three out of two times zero plus C. C. Three is equal yeah. to zero plus C. So yes. C is equal to three. So the value of C is equal to three. After this, so the, the required equation is. So the required equation. Is y is equal to three out of two. Y is equal to three out of two. X yes plus three plus three. Yes. So this That's is the equation. equation. Thank you so much. Um, I hope people have followed.
we are finding uh, the required equation here, uh, but from the given equation, we are able to find the gradient. So the gradient of this given equation, which we are calling M1, uh, we get it from this given equation. Rearrange this equation uh, such that you write it in this form y is equal to mx plus c. So our m, which is the gradient m1, is equal to negative 2 out of 3. And from this relationship, m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. Therefore, uh, the m1 is negative 2 out of 3, and m2 is equal to negative 1. From this, we are having m2 as 3 out of 2. So if you have m2, this is the gradient of the line that you are looking for. And we are given, so we have m, our m2, or just m, is 3 out of 2, and we have this given point. So from y is equal to mx plus c, uh, we are able to find c. So this is going to help us to find c and when we substitute the value of c is three. So we can now comfortably write the required equation as y is equal to three out of two x plus c. Thank you so much. Any question? Dad's hand is up. I don't know if that has a question. Yes, can you ask? I'm sorry, my question was answered earlier. Never mind. Okay. So, can we move on? Leila, your hand is up. Teacher, my gradient one, I got two out of three, and my gradient two, I got negative three out of two. Is it still correct? No. M1, oh, you wrote the gradient to us? Negative three out of two. Okay, negative. So you have your M2 as negative three out of two. Mm -hmm. Then M1? Two out of three. M1 is equal to two out of three. Now, last time we say that uh, you are free to call, uh, for example, in this equation, we have our M2 as negative two out of three. But you can also, uh, call this M2, it is not specific. But when you are naming M2, M1, the order doesn't matter. But you must look at the given equation. Now, in our given equation, the gradient strictly is negative two out of three. So if um, you are calling this M2, then it must be negative two out of three. So the given equation, its gradient is negative two out of three. So you are free to call it M2, you can call it M1. It doesn't matter. But if you interchange, that's where the problem is. Because for this given equation, the gradient is this. So if you call it uh, two out of three minus the negative, then you not be correct. So you need to, uh, even if you are getting here, this answer correct, but please uh, make sure that you follow through, you follow um, the, the given steps to get this equation. Leila, is that okay? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. So, are you through with the, the second example? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Let us look at this. There is a question here with this amount writing. So I think we can try it. Uh, you're going to try this question. Are you able to see that question? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, we can see it. Okay. So you can copy this number and try it. Everyone is given um, three minutes to try it out. Everyone is given three on the three minutes to try it out. As, as your friends, as the others are trying the, this question, if you still have a question on perpendicular lines, please ask, because tomorrow we are not, we are not coming back to this. Tomorrow, Mrs. Nampaju will take you through midi point and distance between two points. And that will mark the end of this topic, such that next week we start on another topic. So if you still have a question on perpendicular lines, please ask this. Glenna. Teacher, Glenna, I wanted mm -hmm. to know why at, on the second example, mm. C is equals to three, and how do we get that C? Then also with the with the M the M1 and the M two, is it okay if we use um any of the two or we always have to use M2? Is is it what? Okay, the first question is you, you want to know how? How on that second example, mm. how is C equals to three? Okay. How is C? equal to three okay that's very good did, did, did you get um the grad did you did you understand how we get the gradient of that second line yes the gradient of the second line mm. i don't know wait no, 
have, have you just joined the oil we are here from the beginning? I was here from the beginning of the lesson, but some other lessons has not understanding the things. Okay, Kale. Um, this is not part of this. Eh? As your friends are doing their work there, I can use this part of this part here because um, I can't take the camera to the other side. Okay. You were given two lines. The equation of this one was given to you. What was it? It is, it is the two X plus three Y is equal to four. And then they give you one point on this line, zero three. So the question was, these two lines are perpendicular. Find the equation of this second one, given the equation of the first one that is perpendicular to the second one. So the steps are very clear. Am I talking to Glenna or that that's another person? Me, yes. Glenna. You are, Glenna, are you the one who asked? Yes, and Mr. Matumbwe, after yes. you explain to Glenna, I think we shall be wrapping up. Yes, very fine, Mr. Baton. So we are saying, Glenna, that given the equation of this one, and they want us to get the equation of this second one that is perpendicular to this one. We write this one. You remember how we used to write how we used to write this one in the form y is equal to m x plus c. And writing it in this form will help us to get the gradient of this one, which we are calling the m one. Are we there? Which we are calling the m one. Now, after, yes. getting M, after getting M1, we look for M2. How do we get M2? M2, get it from the condition for perpendicular lines. We know that if lines are perpendicular, then the gradient, the product of their gradient is negative one. So you say M1 times M2 is equal to negative one. This will help you to get this M2, which is the gradient of this second line. And after getting it, you remember where we started from when we are starting this topic, given, given the gradient and a point on the line, we can get the equation of the line using Y still is equal to MX plus C. From this point, the y coordinate is in three, so you put it and you put it where the y, the gradient, you have got the m2, which is the got as what? m2 as three out of two, multiplied by the x coordinate, which is zero plus c. We are looking for c. So this will be three which is equal to, you know that when you multiply zero by any number, by anything, you get zero, so this is zero plus C. And from here, three is equal to C, so C is equal to three. Are we there, Glenna? Yes. And then after getting the C, you write, you write this equation, replacing, substituting for M and C. So the required equation will be, y is equal to m1, three out of two, you put x, then it plus the c, which is three. That becomes the required, the required equation. So okay. our, time, our time is up. Glenn, I hope you have understood that one. Yes, thank you. Can Teacher, you wait. Ask, Teacher, you wait. Here, can we just get the answers to this one? Answers from people. <laughs> Very fast answers. Pick People, do you pass the answers? Why is equal to a half x plus one and a half? Y is equal to? 
a half x plus one and a half. Plus one and a half, okay? Another person? Jovia. I got yes. y is equal to. There you go. I got y is equal to negative one out of two plus three. I mean, one out of two x plus three. Y is equal to? Negative one out of two x plus three. Plus? Three. Okay. Another person? Yeah. The network there is not very good. Another person will pass. Which I got y is equal to negative a half. Mm. Y is equal to negative a half plus zero. Plus zero. Okay, another person. Y is equal to negative a half x plus five. A plus five. The answer is the answer. Y is equal to negative a half x plus two. Negative a half x plus two. Okay. Okay, this is I got y is equal to a half x plus five out of two. Yes. That's right. Y is equal to negative a half x plus five out of two. That's what we have. Yes. Mr. Matumbwe, our time, um, we need to prepare. For yes. Um, Mr. Batum, I'm concluding here in one second, one minute. So, people, these are the answers you have got. And Mrs. Mrs. Kisamba has this last one. Someone also mentioned this. So, the final, an the final answer must be this one. You are going to check your, you check yourself. Eh? People who want to end it here. The final answer to this one is this one. Okay, so you are going to check. You, you are going to check yourself again. I'm stopping here. Thank you, Mr. Bato, for hosting us, Mrs. Nam. Um, Mrs. Thank Sambu. you, teacher.